What's going on guys? I just wanted to mention before you see this episode that I will be talking about male anatomy, um, medical procedures, that sort of stuff. If this is not your cup of tea, if you're a young child, if you are definitely not interested in hearing about this, skip this episode, okay? You've been warned. All right, so I didn't think I would make a video about this, but there are a few different reasons that I want to talk about what has happened in the last 12, 24 hours um, for multiple reasons. To spread awareness, I also have a lot of medical students who um, want to talk about more medical topics. So, you know, consider this another English lesson that's also about my life. Yesterday, whilst getting ready to go to bed, I, as the title probably suggests, found a lump downstairs. So I found a lump on my right testicle that was not there uh, a week or so ago. So needless to, to say, I was, you know, instantly terrified. The blood inside me ran cold. I was like, oh great, it's going to be, it's going to be testicular cancer. What else could it be? It's testicular cancer. I'm screwed. I'm going to get, you know, chemotherapy, I'm going to die, you know, fatalizing, fatalizing, fatalizing. And so, yeah, I <laughs> couldn't believe it. This is the first sort of health scare that I think I've ever had. So I immediately got on the internet and started looking up what the possible things could be other than just testicular cancer, you know, and if it were testicular cancer, you know, what are the sort of signs to look for what to do next? The good thing was that there are plenty of reasons that you can find a lump on one of your testicles as a young man. So yeah, I, I started looking up all of these symptoms and I was finding it incredibly hard to get to sleep. I got to sleep, in the morning I rang the doctor and asked for an emergency an emergency appointment. They granted me one, I came straight in and, and uh, yeah, I sort of met a doctor who was younger than me, a young gentleman. You know, ended up having to get my kid off and lie down and have him have a, an inspection. And uh, he ended up suggesting that it wasn't testicular cancer, although I need to, I'm now about to get an ultrasound. And that it is probably an epididymal cyst, which is what I was hoping it would be because they're benign. They're not cancerous. I may have to get surgery to have it removed if it continues to, to grow, um, if, it, if it is that. But hopefully it will either stay as it is or disappear on its own anyway the, the main reason i wanted to get this out there was just to say guys get yourselves checked you know well, get yourselves checked check yourselves this came up out of nowhere i check myself on a regular basis probably once you know every few weeks and definitely didn't notice this last time within a matter of a few short weeks few maybe a few days i suddenly have a pea-sized lump in my right testicle. So I still, I don't know what it is. It could be cancer, it could be anything else. I'm about to get an ultrasound. So fingers crossed um, that it is only good news and that this thing doesn't get elevated to um, a more serious kind of treatment. But yeah, I um, guess that's really it. Just make sure you get yourself checked. Uh, if you find something, talk to a doctor, you know, organize an appointment immedi immediately, as soon as you can. Go and get checked. It's uncomfortable, it's embarrassing to have another person fondling your testicles and examining you, but ultimately, you know, it's, it's the right thing to do for your health, for your family, for everyone else. So just get it done, right? Check on a regular basis. I'm sure you can find videos online about how to do so. Um, there are plenty of doctor videos, tutorials about what you should do, what the signs are, everything like that, and what to do next. Um, and also, I guess, know that even if it is, even if it does turn out to be testicular cancer, which I was sort of researching a lot last night before I got some shut-eye, the prognosis tends to be pretty good, I think, if you get on it early, okay? So if you do find out, you know, that, that God forbid you end up with testicular cancer, it's one of those cancers where if you get on it early, you'll most likely be okay. You might have to have one of your testicles removed, but better that than the alternative. Anyway, I'm going to go get this ultrasound and have yet another person fondle my, um, my junk. Uh, and uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get good news, but I'll keep you guys updated. Wish me luck. Here we go. Man, guys, good news. Turns out to be nothing. Turns out to be just my anatomy, a 
apparently. I went in there and um, was sort of nervous. I'm like, please have a male physician. Uh, you know, it's not because I'm sexist. It's just I feel uncomfortable having to put a woman through that sort of thing. I know they're professional, but you know, it's just one of those things you can imagine they can do without. But I happen to have a lady who's probably about my mother's age. Um, thank you so much. Uh, she was very professional. Absolutely lovely having a chat whilst getting the scan. So I took my kit off. I had to put on a white gown with my bum hanging out the back. Lay down on the table. Um, and then, yeah, they applied the, the gel and then started just having a look around. And it turns out that it's just normal anatomy. She said, I can't see a cyst, I can't see cancer, I can't see anything like that, so you have a clean bill of health. I'm still gonna post this video. It's still an important message. If you find something you're worried about, go and see your doctor. It could be nothing, which is the best case scenario, obviously, you know, it's, it couldn't have, I, I was hoping it was gonna be a cyst, right? But pff, didn't even think that it could be nothing. Turned out to be nothing. You know, my doctor thought it was something, he sent me here to, to get this ultrasound, to get it looked at. But yeah, thankfully, turned out to be nothing. The reason I guess I wanted to sort of tell this story, and hopefully my mum doesn't mind me um, sharing a bit of her medical history. My mum is a breast cancer survivor. So she, I think now has been, you know, free of breast cancer for 12 years, which is, you know, amazing. Congrats, mum, so happy for you. But she found a lump, well, yeah, about 12 years ago when she was in the shower, I think, and, you know, was worried about it, went and had it looked at, and then when she went and had an ultrasound, they found out that the lump was actually just a cyst, it was nothing, but next to it, they found breast cancer, this this tiny, tiny cancerous um, cluster of cells that she would never have noticed until it had gotten much larger. So that's why, you know, you need to take this sort of stuff seriously. If you're ever worried about your body, if you ever think something's changed, if you ever, you know, find something like this that you're concerned about, go and see your GP, your general practitioner, your doctor, and then follow their advice. Best case scenario, like today, it turns out to be nothing. I, I honestly did not expect that to happen, but I am so thankful. It feels like a huge weight off my shoulders. Like I have dodged a massive bullet, but um, it was definitely worth doing. Anyway, um, yeah, hopefully this wasn't an overshare, guys. You know, I. I know a lot of people who would never want to talk about this kind of stuff, but I think it's important. I'm not much of a uh, shy person when it comes to sharing my life, as you guys know. But this kind of message, I think, is very important for both women and men. Go and get yourselves checked. You know, check your breasts, check your genitals, and um, just be on top of things for your own sake, for your own health. We all know someone who's probably died of breast cancer or prostate cancer or any of that sort of stuff. It's not worth being embarrassed about. Go and get it checked out at the first sign of of something that you're worried about or just at your regular, you know, interval checking it out. Anyway, I'm gonna go back home. Oh my God, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that it turned out to be nothing. Far out, far out. I was totally expecting bad news. Anyway, I should probably add guys, last but not least, the uh, sort of prices of what happened with appointments today. So I went to the doctors and it wasn't bulk billed, so it was like $78. I think I get half of that back through Medicare. The ultrasound was, let me have a look here, um, $259.50, and I think I get $90 back on that. So I think all up, it's going to have cost me less than $200 for peace of mind, right? To know that I'm okay to, or at least, you know, if I had not been okay to at least know what was wrong and to have a better sense of what was wrong and go forward with that. So again, Money's just money. Get this stuff done and, you know, take care of your health. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.